Thanks for signing up for Sorcery. Now let's get started using Sorcery in VS Code. First, let's open up Visual Studio Code, and we'll go to the Extensions Marketplace. You can get there either by going to View Extensions and bringing up the sidebar, or by going into your Preferences and bringing up the Extensions section. In the Extensions section, we'll type in Sorcery into the search bar and hit Enter. It should pop up in a second. And then we'll go and we'll install the Sorcery plugin. This should all take a couple of seconds, or if it's your first time, it might take a couple minutes to download. You'll now see the Sorcery demo file. This is a very brief example, it gives a quick overview of what Sorcery is, how it works in VS Code, as well as a demo sample of code that once we set up our token, we can actually refactor in a second. But to get started, we need our Sorcery token. Either go back to your dashboard that's open in your browser, or click into the notification that was down below, and, and copy your token. So here we go, here's my token in VS Code, and I'll copy that, go back into Visual Studio Code, and then we have this text box at the top to input my token. I'll enter it, hit enter, and there you can see Sorcery started running. We've got this underlined section of code in my function, means Sorcery is working, and it's found a refactoring. To start interacting with one of Sorcery's examples, you can hover over the underlined section of code. It'll give you a written description of the changes that's going to make. In this case, we have two small refactorings being added together into this code, and you'll also get a diff of the change that's being made. If everything looks good to you, you can then bring up the quick fix menu to then accept Sorcery's change. And Sorcery's now rewritten your code in a way that's much quicker, much easier to understand, much simpler. If everything looks good, you can then go ahead and open Sorcery in a live project you have and start to see the changes Sorcery can make. You can start to see all of those underlying sections pop up and we can go and review them, see the changes that are being suggested, accept them right away. Some of them might be simple, some of them might be pretty complex. Let's see.